I would like to welcome uh, people to the third of the Meet the MACP Executive Members uh, short videos. Um, tonight, I am talking to um, Sam, who is our current uh, communications officer, and I'd like to start by asking Sam to introduce herself and tell us a little bit more about her background. Hi Helen, thanks. Um, so my name is Sam Simmons. I am the current communications officer uh, alongside Matt Daly. I currently work for the University Hospital Sussex on the um, uh, down on the coast um, as an advanced practitioner, um, and um, have been part of the MACP for about ten years or so. That's great. So. In terms of your journey to come on to the exec, if we start with a first initial question, why did you become an MACP member? Um, well, I was re I've been really lucky to work in a very motivated department, um, MSK department, and a lot of um, our team were current MACP members. In fact, um, one of my uh, colleagues was actually the chair of the MACP at that mo moment in time. And I guess they've always um, sparked my passion for MSK and for driving the profession forwards. Um, and I've, I guess, aspiring to be um, similar to them, I guess. So yeah, that's where I started. So you've said you've been an MACP member for 10 years now. What's kept you being a member and what does being an MACP member mean to you? Um, I think the the main driving force for keeping me to be an MACP member has been about my passion for the profession and supporting profession um, in current developments in um, with with regards not just um, the wider profession, but also the local community. So at first I had some involvement with um, the area reps and with the PDC, um, and as well as um, helping to sort of drive the education of the profession from that point. Brilliant. So now in your role as communications officer, what is your vision and aim for your role going forwards? Um, I would like to create a wider communications subcommittee so that we can successfully um, reach uh, MSK clinicians, um, reach the MSK profession and keep it as inclusive as possible. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> um, cre creating sort of um, a wider network that people feel that they um, are able to be supported in their profession and their development um, to help support the MSK community in in its growth um, and to give it to give us a voice as well. Um, and in that role, that means sort of tying in with our knowledge translation officers, the research development, and also the PDC. So we tie in quite closely with all of those and help with the developments of um, like upcoming conferences, courses, um, and I guess getting that that out to the to the MSK community. Brilliant. So you've mentioned that you're always willing to recruit people to your subcommittee. So if somebody is interested, how do they get in contact with you? Okay, the the best way to get in contact with um, myself would be to go to the MACP web um, website and look under the communications officer and you'll see um, our contact there. Um, and we'd welcome any new members of um, to, to the subcommittee. Brilliant. Thank you very much um, for taking up some of your time, Sam. Thank you. Thanks, Helen.